Today is June 6th, 2020. I picked up a few things this week for our little camper project. And I've got a few things I'm tinkering around with today. I picked up a tool carrier for the tongue of the trailer. And we'll see how that fits. I'm not going to permanently attach that today, but we'll just put that on there and see what that looks like. And I picked up a bunch of trim from Lowe's yesterday, so we'll do that for the interior of the windows. And over the last week, I finished up putting that butyl tape around all the windows. So all five windows have real good sealant and stainless steel screws. So they're nice and permanently attached. We had a cool spell about a week or so ago, and I was starting to think, do I really even need to put an air conditioner in here? And then it warmed up and I remembered, yes, I absolutely need to put an air conditioner in here. <laughs> Without it, this thing will be roastingly hot, especially with the slightly smaller windows. So an air conditioner poses some challenges. I've been thinking about this for a while. One thought was to get one of those totally inside AC units and put it in that corner and then run a duct hose out for the hot air. The reviews are really mixed on those and you're kind of fighting two battles because you're trying to deal with the heat that they're making inside and you're trying to pump that out and it's kind of a mixed bag. Some people like them, but it's kind of a mixed bag. And I've got a few of these window units here. So instead of spending two or 300 bucks on one of those, that are questionable and kind of heavy, I figured we'd try to use something that we've got on hand. A good friend of mine recommended and really supported putting it kind of inside in the wall. And it does make a lot of sense to do that, where you just frame it inside and on the outside you just have a vent. My problem with that, with the way this worked out, was the framing does not lend itself to that. Our framing is a little bit unusual, that's because I made a change in plans part way through. So to try to get that in a corner, we don't have enough space here. We'd be doing all kinds of reframing and I don't think that would work too well. So my next thought was to just mount it down here to cut a hole, do some more supports for the bottom because that would be another 40 pounds or so on that aluminum. And that was, I gave that a lot of thought, but I hate to cut more holes if I don't have to. So I think this is what we're going to do here for this. What this will mean for the placement here is I think I'm going to change the floor plan in here a little bit. This was going to be an enclosed area for a porta potty for a toilet. But since this is such a small space and it will be used either one or two people, I think we can deal with a pull out porta potty out of a cabinet or out of a storage area inside. For the air conditioner here, I put that access panel in when this was a pop up. And unfortunately, it's a little too small to stick the AC unit out. It will not fit. The hole, the opening there is about 11 inches, and we need about 12 for the air conditioner, so that's just not going to work. But what we can do is what Jayco and a lot of the other mainstream manufacturers do, where they put a regular window unit inside, is we can build a frame around this, and when we want to use it, we'll open that access panel on the outside, and when we don't want to use it, we'll close that access panel. There'll be a grate and a screening so that we don't get bugs inside. And for the drainage, I've got an aluminum tray here that I had in the garage that fits this absolutely perfectly. So we can put a drain in the bottom there and get some of that condensation out. I think most of the condensation will be blown out the back, but for a little bit that we have in there, I think that'll work okay. And then there'll be a frame around here and we still have space for our kitchen area and maybe some shelving or something, maybe another little counter space here, maybe something L-shaped. Still working on that. But if I'm gonna do some work inside here, especially with those trim boards, we've gotta figure out a way to cool it down because it's pretty toasty in here right now. For today, since we're just kind of testing and playing around a little bit, I'm going to use some cardboard and just tape a surround around the air conditioner 
And we're going to kick this thing on, see what it does in here. See how much it cools down, see how loud it is, see how that works. And obviously plywood would be a whole lot more insulating, but with some cardboard we can get a rough idea of the way this would work. So let's get going on that. Once we have that kind of duct taped and cardboarded up for the time being, we'll start working on some of this window trim. And I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. That's been on my mind for a couple of months now. But before we start taping up that air conditioner, let's see what this tool carrier looks like. Kind of looking forward to that. That could not be more perfect. That fits perfectly in there on top of those two welded in rails that used to hold the propane tanks. So we've got a nice little space behind the back and instead of having to drill into the frame, <clears throat> we can just use these underneath the here and attach that either with U-bolts or with stainless steel bolts or something else. But that, I think that fits extremely well. The trailer will be painted and we could even make the trailer black to match, match that box. I'm still thinking about it. So this was about a hundred dollars and I think that'll be pretty cool. As far as the other side of the air conditioner here behind this access panel, it's kind of kind of what we'll be looking at. And again, there will be some sort of grate that'll be attached from the inside so that this will sit nice and flush. And when we want the AC, we'll open that up, tie it off, click on the AC. So we're going to test and see how well this works. And again, this is just diagnostic testing to see if this is a possible solution. I just have cardboard taped off around that air conditioner. Right now it's a little over 90 in here and really humid. <laughs> so it probably feels like about 95 or so. So it's toasty. Um, I'm plugging in the air conditioner into the circuit breaker for the camper here. So let's turn this on and see if we get any kind of action. I bought this new about a year ago. Um, so we'll see. So that's high cool. Just the breeze feels really nice today. So let me close these windows because these are all open right now and we'll close the door and we'll keep an eye on this and see what kind of results we get. Well, it's been 10 minutes since we turned on the AC and we're getting a lot of hot air coming out of here. So let's take a look inside and see how far we've come off that 90 degree mark. Yeah, it feels a lot cooler. It feels cooler in here. So we're around 85 and a lot less humid. And it's been 10 minutes, 11 minutes. So pretty good. I've also been wondering if this old circuit breaker box would be okay. Everything seems fine. Well, it's been about 45 minutes or so since we turned that AC on. And we've got lots of openings here, which I still need to seal up. So that blue painter's tape covers a very large gap. I still have spaces for the frame as it goes inside <clears throat> that are open. So. It's not real tight right now. I also, for the door, need to sand off a little bit to make that seat a little easier. But it feels a whole lot cooler in here. And it is a whole lot cooler in here. So we were around 90, and now we're about 80. A little, right around 80 degrees. And the humidity is drastically, drastically different. So I think this is a solution that we're going to work with. We'll try to uh, clean that up in the coming weeks. 
You can see these gaps between the frame. I still need to tape that off. We've got very large openings, so a lot of this cold air is just, just drooping through. With a little bit of redirection of the cool air coming out of that air conditioner, we're down to about 78 degrees. So I think some angled areas or a fan to kind of circulate the air in here will definitely make it even cooler. We've got two of our five windows all framed down on the inside. Gives it a nice finished look. Makes the windows look a lot bigger too. I think it's what we're going to have to stop for today. We made some progress and it was kind of fun to play around with a few things here. It's a pretty warm day. We're in the 90 to 92 degree range with some humidity, with a fair amount of humidity. So that small AC unit can drop the inside temperature down about 10 to 12 degrees. And that's with a lot of gaps between, between areas. The nice thing about this little AC unit is it doesn't draw a whole lot. And I think that we could probably run that with a pretty modest solar setup and battery bank, which would be a nice option. With a 400 watt solar panel, we could probably run it solely off of solar during the daytime hours and just draw a little bit at night if we needed to. So still something I'm playing around with, but I think the placement of that is what we're going to kind of hang with and finish off. I really like that toolbox carrier. I took some measurements and didn't know if it would fit exactly this well. That's a nice fit in there and we can attach it to those propane bars across and not have to drill into the actual thicker frame material. To finish up the outside windows, I think I'm gonna use some of this one by four trim. I'll kind of give it more of a finished look for the exterior. That'll be kind of neat. And for the roof, we're gonna make a rubber roof. We're just gonna roll it on and there's a few different products I'm looking at, but that should be strong enough and watertight. So we're getting there, it's coming along. Looks quite a bit different than it did in January when I was kind of sketching out ideas for this. So we're making progress. Thanks very much for taking a look.